What's up guys? Welcome back to Is Brian's World. Today, look, I got my beautiful wife and uh, <laughs> this is the first time again, I would say, maybe again. In a, uh, in a long time. In a long time that we uh, doing a video in English. I hope you guys enjoy this. But today is a very special day. Um, I think it takes a pretty long time. I think like almost like a month already. I, I have, haven't gotten to this reservation as of today. So today we are going to check out, what is it? A Genesis house. Genesis house. What is Genesis house? Is actually a car, like a Hyundai? Hyundai Genesis, if you guys know. Hyundai has a car named Genesis. And they have collaborated with a Michelin star restaurant called OGM. OGM? Mm -hmm. OGM. So it's right here in the back of me. So me and my wife today, we're gonna go and check it out. And before we do, like I said, always remind you guys is that like, subscribe, and comment. And we're gonna check out this beautiful, beautiful, it's called Luxury Cars and Luxury Restaurant together. So let's go. Are you hungry? Mm -hmm. Very hungry. Let's go, guys. Alright guys, so they give us a little towel over here so you can wipe your hand, clean your face. You do not clean your face with it. <laughs> you I don't know, I, I, I chose, it. yeah, I chose <laughs> It's okay, it's raining outside, you know, so. But let's talk about the atmosphere, it's crazy, it's nice, it's super cool. You know, it, if the weather what? is not raining, it would yeah. be much better. But um, yeah. whatever, I mean, I think it's very nice. Decoration's nice. Decoration's nice. Um, but we didn't have a chance to shoot the, the car. But maybe later, yeah. after we eat, yeah. we're going to go down there. We're going to shoot the car for you guys to see. You know? Because uh, we're on the market soon to uh, look for a different car. So this is a good time as well. <laughs> Do you want a drink? They have... Yeah. So the menu over here, they, they give you, they provide you like kind of like a scan thing, so you guys scan it. And then uh, they have like a la carte and they have tasting menu too. So I think we're going to go for the tasting menu. What are you there? Tasting menu? I think so. It's easier that way. Yeah, it's easier that way. So we're going to go with the tasting menu. And the tasting menu is like $150 a person. Yes. That's not so bad. And then if you do a wine pairing, it's like extra 95 bucks. Is that? So. Oh. Yeah, it's 95 bucks so for a wine it, pairing. Is it like every course with a different wine? I believe so. Yeah, that's then wine pairing. you can get pairing. drunk really quickly. Right? I would. <laughs> like if there's seven courses, you're going to give me seven glasses of wine? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> right? Well that's, well, that's that's a lot of wine for that that's, kind of price. Though. Yeah, that's why it's cost 95 bucks additional on top of the 150 so. bucks. Every yeah, course? It is. Yeah, like they only have like... On this one, I think the cost of the tasting menu is only like five quarts or something like that. Five or six, the most. Well, they have non-alcoholic cocktails. Oh yeah, that's what we're gonna go for because I'm not a very alcoholic guy. <laughs> yeah, so let's we're gonna order, and then when the food come out, we'll let you guys know. Hey. All right, the drinks just came out. Freezy berry. This is just a mocktail drink, but it looks so nice. Here, cheers. Oh, look at my wife, huh? Mm. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Mm. It's pretty good. Is it? Yeah. Mm. Very strawberry for mine. So it is. And soda. That's what I love. My favorite. <laughs> yeah. Let's wait for the food now. All right, guys. So this is the first dish that just came out. And here's my wife. It's actually very plain, as the gentleman said. 
is just gonna try to open up your palate before you taste some bomb food. So let's see if my wife tastes it. What it tastes like? It's like um, plain porridge, <laughs> right? Like the dal. Oh, right? oh, it's so like, like kanji. Like, yeah, kanji. Oh, okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna try this. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Salute. Yeah, it tastes exactly like kanji. It is that. It is kanji, yes. It's kind of like rice and, you know, I guess a little bit of, uh, I guess, like water. Chili. Yeah, it's like water. Water is water, rice, and not very seasoned. It's just very bland. So he's correct. It's just going to open your palate. So you can maybe after this, it's just, this is just going to clean your palate. So. You're gonna taste it later. <laughs> so let's wait for all the food. All right, guys. So this is kind of, yeah. There's meat. There's vegetables. So this is like kind of like a, a bibimbap in a way, Korean bibimbap, but without the spice. I would say. So let let my wife taste it. Let's see it. All right, babe. Does does it taste like bibimbap? No, it reminds me of like, um, like vermicelli salad. Oh, like vermicelli. vermicelli. Oh, vermicelli. Did yeah. you use vermicelli salad? Mm -hmm. All right, let me try. All right, guys. So now we are going to try this. It's called like mung beans, and they have a whole bunch of vegetables in here and meat, chopped meat. So, like I said, it's kind of like a bim bim bob. That's my take on it. But I'm not sure the name of it. But we're going to try it out. Let's taste it. Mmm. Mmm. I would say very refreshing. Yeah. But I think if they have that a little bit kick of spice into it, it would taste a lot better. Yeah. Like um, mm -hmm. chili taste. Kind of like a chili stuff. Any kind of chili in there, I think it would taste a lot better. But as this is like very refreshing. So it's good for a starter. You know what this remind me of? It's kind of like remind me of like uh, the temple food. Yeah. You know, like like you go to the, I don't know if you guys ever went. You know, like you guys go to temples and stuff. I go to temple, and yeah, like it, it tastes that kind of freshness. Mm. Good. Mm. So, for our I guess uh, two dish person's impression, how do you feel about it? First two dish. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. No, it's not. It hasn't. It hasn't hit that button called wow yet, right? Yeah. Yeah. The wow, wow factor oh. not yet. But I hope like the continuation of it when the other stuff go out, maybe it will hit. But it's it's, it's not bad. Don't get me wrong. It's not bad. Yeah. It's well, a different take, you know. Yeah, different take. Not everything has to be like yeah. Envi flavor. Well, one thing I have to say, the environment is pretty cool. I mean, I like it. I mean, they have outdoors. If it's like nice day or something like that, you can eat outdoors. They have a big like outdoor garden kind of like, and then uh, the window in the back of us is pretty big as well. So you have a lot of nice natural sunlight, light. natural lighting in here. Yeah, and the decor. I don't know exactly what what in the middle over here where we sit next to. It's, it's kind of like a lounge like a, area where yeah. you can be Oh yeah, and yeah. It's like a. Cocktail. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's like a lounge area where you're sitting like kind of like a, I guess Korean style in a way. It's like you're sitting on like a little poop, and and they have a little table, uh, a little small table. So you, they, I guess they can put your drinks on there. So mm -hmm. is that's pretty pretty cool, pretty fun, and uh, yeah, the environment is pretty pretty nice. I like it. It's like wood. They have like wood themes kind of going on, and then open kitchen kind of like so you can see everything that's nice all right yes. yep all right guys this is the third course right third course yeah. this is a fish like kind of like a fish dumpling in a way the gentleman is saying fish dumpling and the fish is a halibut right yeah all right so here you go so they, man um, it's stopped with uh mint shrimp mint and shrimp veggies. and veggie so it's like almost like a dumpling kind of style How's that taste? Very light. 
Yeah, very light. Right? Okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna try this halibut dumpling. Everything is wrapped, which with fish. I think our waiter was uh, telling us. So. They use the fish as like a wrapper. Yeah, the fish is like a wrapper for the shrimp and everything else. Mm -hmm. So there's dumpling on the bottom as well. And I'm no, tofu. Tofu. Oh, sorry, tofu. All right, guys. Cheers. Mm. Yes, my wife is right. Light, but nice texture, firm. Mm. I eat like three of them. <laughs> mm. The taste, I guess, yeah, it's like a dumpling, but is wrapped by fish. So it's very um, seafoody, shrimpy. So if you ever have like a, I guess a seafood dumpling, it's kind of tastes like something like that. Without the carbs. Yes, without the carbs, so that's the best. Carb conscious. <laughs> mm. Mm. So good. Very light. Yeah, very mild. I think all these dishes, they need that little spice kick to it. But as of right now, it's very nice and mild. Very light. It's more like refreshing. Kind of like you're in like a very fresh garden mile kind of thing. I guess that's the concept they're going for. It's good. We have a cookbook. Oh, which wow. Is, which tells us to cut the uh, meat into thin strips like noodles. Uh huh. Obviously, they're not sized like noodles, but the cookbook says to put them into, cut them into noodles and then put them into a soup. Oh, wow. And so, what's instinctive about this dish is it's. Um, <laughs> All right. So, guys, this is a Wagyu beef. I'm not sure what kind of grade it is, but it's Wagyu, all right? That's for my wife. Here's some salad. They say that it has a little kind of like ferment kind of taste to it. The gentleman, I'm just cutting it short. He, he said a lot of stuff, but I'm just making it a short version for you guys. Okay. Now, yeah. Okay. <laughs> No knives. Waiting <laughs> yeah, stage like no in knife. France where you just pick it up and you just gnaw with your teeth. <laughs> yeah. Mm, very soft. Yes, that's why there's no need to be knife. You just your your teeth is just gonna you know, devour it. Like that scene? Like jelly? Yeah, you just rip it off, you know? Yes. Thank you. Alright. All right, guys. I want to get try some of this wagyu beef. Bon appetit, baby! All right. Hmm. Come on. Hmm. Mm. I like the the grill taste to it. Smell, like, right? it's, yeah, the smell. It's kind of like a little charcoal. It smells yeah, like it um, Vietnamese grilled beef barbecue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, yes, you're correct. It's like, kind of like Vietnamese uh, grilled beef baloi. Very right. And then. Uh, mm, the salad is, is good. It has a little mixture on it. Mix it. A what? A salad. It's kind of. Nice, fresh and salad. Mmm, mmm, but good. Mmm. Now I got, got to say, yeah, it tastes like Vietnamese bottle, very much. Right. See, I'm not a fan of arugula. Oh it's really? Kind of I don't mind about arugula. It's actually not so bad, to me. Really? Uh huh. Well, you know, no knife needed. Maybe you're just gonna put it in your mouth and then fall off. You know what is missing? What? Hot, Hot sauce. sauce. <laughs> Hot sauce, yeah. 
Mm. So I'm going after the second piece of mine. Look at, see? It's long, but they don't give you a knife to eat it, so you just use your teeth for a knife, okay? Mmm. Mmm. Okay. This wagyu is good, but I don't think it's A5 grade wagyu. I think maybe it's like A1. One. One. A1, yeah. <laughs> but I think they should have given us a, a little knife so we could cut it up. It's okay. That's it. They want you to feel the beef. Yeah, I think they want to feel the beef. You know, you got to put it in there and chew it. <laughs> So that's my wife said if uh, they don't fold the napkin or push in the chair in this restaurant, then it won't be a Michelin. She just went to a restaurant for a little bit. That's what she told me. I just want to let you guys know that. But the guy did, so it might have something. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is like the bim bim bob. Okay, you got rice over here, and then they actually give you a little spicy sauce on the side. Same thing as bim bim bob. And this is uh what was this what kind uh, of drink bean sprout soup. oh bean sprout soup okay and then you got kimchi and then black beans kind of like a like, preserve this is like um, yeah. not cabbage kimchi uh, celeries i don't even know it's like hair i don't know oh. what it's like. okay like chai how's that but you got to mix it up right yeah you got to throw the sauce in there you got to mix it up something like that all right. Yeah. Throw that sauce in there. It's very sweet, though. It's honey, right? Honey sauce or some, something like that. And there you go. Then I'm going to mix it with my chopstick. Here you go. Mix it up. There it is. Mix that thing up well. All right, guys. Bon appetit. Let's take a bite out of this. Do you use the thing to eat? No. That's for the sauce. Yeah. <laughs> mm. yeah. Okay. It tastes like the first dish that we got. No, the, well, the second dish after the the noodles. Yeah, the noodle. It tastes like that, but instead of the noodle, you have rice. And then you have that sauce on the side. That's mostly it, I think. Yeah. But the sauce is very sweet. Mm. Because you put like the mm -hmm. whole thing. Well, it have that kick, the spiciness. I like it. It's missing that. But this one, huh? It's good. I think it was missing that the whole time. Yeah. It missed that sauce. Now let's try the preserved black bean. Okay. There's like a, like a black bean. There's like black bean in a Korean restaurant. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one is not kimchi. This one is like celery or chives. Chives. Mm. Okay. Mm. It's good. So it's like a bim bim bao. Totally like it. But one thing I like the bim bim bao more because the bim bim bao actually is is more hotter. I would say it hot mean like it's hot, like the the plate itself is hot. It's and then a stone plate, right? Yes, because they put it in the stone plate and then the rice get more crunchier. I think that's so much better Korean style on that one. But it's, this one's not bad. Not bad. It's good. Bon appetit. Mm. Alright guys, so this is red bean, custard and strawberry. For dessert, this is our last course. And I'm my wife. How's that? <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> Don't even say. <laughs> As you can see, my, my wife' reaction on that. Let me try it. So it's red bean, custard, and strawberry. Okay, bon appetit, guys. Mmm. Okay. 
the red bean is very pureed. That's why I think that texture, my wife didn't really like it that much. But to me, it's very sweet. Pretty nice. Come down to it. If you like red bean, solid red bean. And then that strawberry. I like the strawberry. It's very coated with like sugar. Tastes very good. Mm -hmm. But if you don't like the texture, yeah, I can see why my wife, you know. No, I don't have a problem with the texture. I think, it's, uh, I think it tastes pretty good. Very red beanie. Mm. Okay. Nothing left in my bow. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Nothing left. No beans left. Behind. No bean left. Maybe a little bit. But ain't no more. Bye bye. guys now we are downstairs after eating and we're checking out I guess this is you could say the showroom or so but this mirror is so cool it looked like you're really like into the dimension yeah the dimension like, like another yeah. universe you're flying in there like a wood, a wood smell yeah oh yeah they have a nice nice wood smell but look over here huh look, here it is look at all these luxury cars yeah it's very luxurious. I like their 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 headlight now. Look at that that two little like laser light in front. Genesis is a uh, is is pretty cool. Oh, this this is nice. Oh yeah, the SUV. Yeah. It's like a like a mini Bentley. Mini Bentley. My wife is gonna be uh, your tour guide for this SUV over here. So yes, this is Genesis SUV. It look like a Bentley. Yes, it does. Look at the tail light in the back because Bentley has a tail light before, like the letter look like a B. So, oh, that's a mad white. Wow, that's nice. Mad white. Oh, it looks mad, but it's very smooth. That's pretty nice. Very nice. So this is, yeah, like it's kind of like the showroom. No, right here, Genesis House. Cool. Oh, nice. Back trunk, pretty cool. Captain chairs in the back and uh, yeah, you, you can. Ooh. <laughs> the trunk, nice. So let's go inside, check it out. Let, why not? It's okay. Wow, it's actually inside. Let me close this thing. Okay. Wow, inside here looks very good, huh? Look to get this like a uh, diamond cut leather seat, captain chairs, huh? Wow, it looks nice. Very nice, right? I mean, I think it looks very nice. Very luxurious. Look at this, huh? Here, give me the camera a bit. I'll show them over here. Look at this, guys. This is the driver's side. Wow, look at the steering wheel. It looks, in a way, very identical to the Bentley because they have two tone. You know, the tone in the inside, tone on the outside, and then the logo, in a way, represent, as you know, Bentley Wing 2 as well. But over here, it's pretty cool. The driver is over here is like a knob. That's nice. And that's the, the screen, the LED screen, I guess, that one over there. So this is very, very nice and luxurious. And the smell, I guess that wood smells so good. But there you go, here's the car. Genesis car. Give you a little shot on that. Pan job, this car. Very nice car. Excellent. Yeah, so it's a special, I guess it's a special uh, color or special thing for finish. this location, for this finish over here. Everything looked like matted. Nice. So cool. Alright guys, we have 
done it. We finished just finished our dinner. our dinner and our little, uh, I guess, car tour downstairs at the Genesis. Yeah, the Hyundai Genesis. <laughs> Hyundai Genesis. So you can eat and buy car if you wanted to over here. Okay, so uh, what do you think about this location, babe? The restaurant? Yes. I think um, it's very underwhelming. Food. <laughs> well, um, you know, okay. it, it's curated by a Michelin star chef um, restaurant group, Rest right? Yeah, Michelin. So I think we have a certain expectation for the flavors say, yeah, I, and the dishes. So um, it was just overall very underwhelming and that's not we're... impressing. Mm -hmm. Not impressive. <laughs> um, yeah. And and you can't say that you know Korean food doesn't offer flavor because that's that's yeah. like yeah you cannot say that because it's all about flavors. <laughs> that is true. Um, so one thing is I have to say yes. I mean the inside, the decor, everything is super cool. Um, the expectation that I have to as well, like my wife said, we expected something like a Michelin star kind of like style and scale. flavoring in the scale itself. Service wise, I think it's decent. I mean, the people in there is very nice. Um, no, uh, I mean, they, they, they service, said it, but I mean, when, you know, when like, you're like, in service, you have to be nice, yes, but you yeah. have to also know, <laughs> right? I just feel like it's not on, on point okay. if it's considered at this price range and at this kind yeah, of location and, and what you're promoting, right? Well, like, yeah, I mean, the price is a uh, hundred. $50 for per the person. tasting menu per person and then $95 for a pairing of the drinks. So yeah. our meal came out to for two of us around like 400 including tips $426 or 36 somewhere around there. And but we ordered two yeah. drinks. Two yeah, drinks. we just ordered the mocktail <laughs> in a way. Not even I, like I ordered a cocktail. Oh, she ordered a cocktail, but I got the mocktail. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we expected a little bit more, I have to say, because it is, like I said, the expectation of... Uh, I guess we eat in a lot of Korean restaurants, put it that way. And we wanted that kick of spice. One thing is the last dish that we have, I were expecting it to be something a little bit more, but that was a little bit let down on that part because it just tasted like the same course on the second dish. That's the one thing. But they just like kind of like lazy it out. They just give us a sauce instead of the first dish. They didn't give us any kind of sauce. And the taste on, on all the dishes is kind of like a, a little bit, um, I would say, on the bland side. So that's why, because like my wife said, you know, Korean, we were expecting a little bit of a, a kick to it. You know, like kimchi style, a little bit, have that, uh, you know, a little spice flavor. or a little flavor in there. It doesn't have to so be that's, spicy, that, that's but it has thing. to be flavorful, right? Yeah. When flavorful. it comes down to it, every restaurant, yeah. no matter location, decor, uh -huh. or service, I mean, the food has to be good. Right, you're in New York. <laughs> you, you you have to be at a you yeah, have to be well, held at a certain I, at a certain expectation guess, and certain, standard. Yeah. And and well, you, you know, I yeah. don't think it's for but, 150 dollars per person. I expect more. That's it. Yeah. Oh well, I mean, it, you guys have to experience it. You guys let us know as well. Comment down below if you did try this out or have you ever going to try it out. Uh, like I said, this place is not bad. I mean, the the, the design, the atmosphere. Uh, everything else is pretty cool just to go witnesses like you never went to a restaurant that sells cars and restaurant in there it has a library yeah and they have a library in there too as well so I, I would say the the environment the atmosphere is, is cool it's cool don't get me wrong it, it's very nice but just the food wise I, I would kind of like my wife said we expect it maybe a little bit more uh, you guys should just ha throw some maybe a little bit more meat because I think it's <laughs> underwhelming of the meat because <laughs> I'm a meat guy, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm a meat guy. Yeah, a lot of the courses didn't yeah. have any meat. Well, the first did, course it, was know. just water and crushed rice. <laughs> yes, that, because they, they, they say it's supposed to clean the palate. So that give it to that. Yes, I understand. It, it's just, I would say the price that you get, you only get this one. Uh, how many course? I think uh, if the main course, I think like only five? five dishes. Yeah, but that's it. Yeah, yeah. five course. For 150 bucks so yeah so that's that you guys judge you guys yeah, be the judge try it out, try you guys it out, try it out and, you guys let us judge know it for yourself yeah judge it for yourself but that is that that is our experience and i hope you guys enjoy this you know give us a thumbs up subscribe comment below and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one bye all right see ya 
Oh, wait, guys, look, right in front of the restaurant, you got a little hot dog uh, cart or vendor or hala food in a way. So now we're going to go buy this because I'm still hungry. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I'll see you, but there you go. <laughs> Peace.